until we joined the it's union right, it's, and it's balloted right, for strike, no one was listening to what we were saying. In our store alone, we put like 12 or 13 grievances in, if like, and not very few of them got answered at all. We've got people on zero hour contracts having like their shifts cut just because managers don't like them. We've got bullying going on from managers. Um, we've got discrimination. Then when we balloted for strike, they like were rushing to get back to people's grievances. <laughs> We came here at midnight to clap out our first worker. The workers, united! I finished work at midnight and I came out and there was about 15 to 20 people out here. They all cheered me out, I got presented with my top. I joined the union through a grievance and these guys with their fire brought me in on all of this. I believe that we should get £10 an hour, I believe that we should get rid of zero hour contracts, not just in McDonald's but anywhere. It was really overwhelming to be fair. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still shocked, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm still in a bit of like wow this is all crazy. From what I can see, obviously I haven't been in there, they've brought in a lot of people from other stores. There's managers from head office here, there's salaried managers from other stores. They've obviously had people working 10, 11 hour shifts. And obviously that's not fair either. Our management have the, have the power to determine how much we earn, how we live in a sense, because there's people that are losing their houses, there's people that can't even use their paycheck to do a full two weeks shopping so that they can survive for that full two weeks, so it's hard. As a worker in McDonald's, you cannot work and be able to find somewhere to live without having to count on things like housing benefit, council tax deductions or anything, and you'll have to get a, a, a substantial top up from them based on your wages. I'm here representing the fight for 15 in the United States. And I want to just bring you greetings and solidarity from tens of thousands of fast food workers in the United States who today are going to be on strike with you for $15 in a union. Hundreds of fast food workers walked off the job Monday for a nationwide day of action to demand a $15 an hour minimum wage and the right to unionize. Workers and their supporters gathered in Boston, Los Angeles, Pittsburgh, Durham, North Carolina, Tampa Bay, Florida, Des Moines, Iowa, Richmond, Virginia, and other U.S. cities. McDonald's workers also went on strike at two stores in Britain. We have people in Japan who will be demonstrating across the country. People will be striking in Brussels, Belgium. There will be workers demonstrating in the streets of Sao Paulo, Brazil and many other cases. So you are not alone, sisters and brothers. This morning you are part of a massive global movement that is dedicated to changing the conditions of fast food workers around the globe. When we started in 2012, a small group of fast food workers in New York City went on strike. We were making about $8 an hour. We're demanding 15 and a union. Uh, it was seen as a bit out there, a bit crazy. And then very quickly, it struck a chord. And within a year, it was a national movement with strikes in 60 cities across multiple industrial sectors. And we're winning massive wage increases across the country. By law, politicians have taken this on and are now passing laws in many states to increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour. We still have to win the union with these multinational fast food corporations, but we're actually winning $15. And I think we're going to see the same thing happen in the UK. I like to talk about Denmark which is a country when McDonald's came into Denmark, the union fought them hard for three years, organizing boycotts, organizing strikes, and finally McDonald's sat down and negotiated with the union. And as a result, McDonald's workers in Denmark make $20 an hour, the equivalent. They have union, they have benefits. 12 years ago, we did what you did here. We started off with one strike. Within a month, we had 20 stores on strike. Within three months, we had 100 stores on strike. And just like you, our three demands were very, very similar. One for a $15 an hour minimum wage, we're now at $15.75. Second, for secure hours, an end to zero hour contracts, we achieved that in McDonald's three years ago, and we abolished it nationally for every worker in New Zealand last year. And the last fight was for equal pay for equal work. I know there's 16 and 17 year olds all over Britain working for less than the adult minimum wage. We would appeal for young workers 
in Britain to do what we did in New Zealand. Not just go into the universities, but go into the high schools and organise high school strikes and get schools to come down and occupy our McDonald's because that's how we got rid of youth rates in New Zealand. It is possible to win, but the Labour movement should not just be looking at this strike. The Labour movement should be using its organisers to go down to your local McDonald's, recruit 20 or 30 workers, and let every town and city in England within the next three months organise a mech strike just like this. So I'll just finish with a great chant from New Zealand. All McDonald's had a strike. And in that strike we did unite. We've been asking McDonald's to sit down and meet us to discuss the concerns of their workers. Genuine concerns over how they've been treated. So we've set up a table here to symbolise that we and their workers are ready to speak to them to resolve this serious situation. McDonald's position is they have no intention to talk to any trade unions, which is why we thought it was very important to bring over one of our colleagues and comrades from New Zealand who signed the recognition agreement with McDonald's. McDonald's was a, they were hard, they were tough. The CEO, a couple of years afterwards, she said to me, you know, we did everything we could to keep you out. We built a union of workers and the left and the community around that. We had 12 of our representatives arrested over a three month period. We had workers lost their jobs. We lost our entire membership in Wellington twice. Cleaned us out for every worker in one at a time. They, they, they said, why do you want to join a union? They talked them out of it and they cleaned us out twice. But once we had succeeded in McDonald's, then it was a domino effect. And we have national agreements for every fast food chain in New Zealand. Whoa. When we've had head office in our stores in the lead up to this strike, intimidating workers every day, all we've had to do is look online to the messages of solidarity and support from all of you. All we've had to do is look at the donations that are coming in to support these workers. And we've been able to give them hope. When there are managers telling them that they can be arrested for striking, that they can lose their jobs for going on strike, we have only had to show them that you are all behind us, and I'm so thankful for that, really I am. We have faced bullying in the workplace from managers who care nothing about our circumstance. One of the workers in my store, when she approached the business manager and said to him, please don't scream in my face, please don't do that to me, she told him that she had been a, a victim of domestic abuse in the past. His response was to laugh in her face. Laugh in her face and tell her to leave it out of work. With people living on chairs, with people sleeping on floors, with someone with a four-year-old son is homeless and they care nothing about it. And no longer will it happen. We need a living wage for people. We need good hours, good contracts that mean that we're on a stable lifestyle. We need better conditions, and that all starts here. Thank you. Impossible to organise, guys. That's what we were called. We were told that we don't give a shit about anything. But look where we are. Look exactly where we're standing right now and what we did this morning, what you were all brave enough to do this morning. Two years ago, I went to the Bakers Union executive and said, look, a fast food rights campaign is breaking out right the way across the globe against low pay, the lack of respect for workers, zero hour contracts. And we needed a union that would spearhead this campaign. And the Baker's Union executive, to a person, all of them unanimously decided to launch the campaign. It isn't unique, you know, on the high street for somebody to pay £10 an hour not to have zero hour contracts. We've negotiated with Greg's, who you all know around the country, their terms and conditions are much better. 
But if we're going to stop the likes of abusive workers, the thing behind that, the conduit to that, is going to be trade union membership. And we need to make sure that this company recognise the union now. They said hopeless, we said lies. Fast food workers organise. They said, they said hopeless, we say lies. Fast food workers organise. They said, they said hopeless, we say lies. Fast food workers organise. said I, I, I believe, believe that we, that we will win. What we've done is we've spoken to all my workmates, uh, we found out what their issues are. For example, every female worker in my workplace faced some form of sexual harassment, every single one. And if I hadn't have asked them about their issue, they wouldn't have never been able to tell me, if that makes sense. So saying to them, right, well, you know, I'm disgusted by the fact that you're facing sexual harassment, and I think to together we can actually change things uh, that we wouldn't be able to change on our own. We know of a disabled person with a chronic kidney condition in the Crayford branch. He's working in 100 degree heat with, in eight hours with no break and it's making his kidney condition work. There's a young, young lad that uh, we work with um, and he, he's 17 years old, he's on £4.70 or 60 an hour uh, and he works alongside us, so I'm on 7 60 an hour. We do exactly the same job. Uh, but because he's on such little wages, uh, he can't afford a roof over his head, he has to sleep at the foot of his mate's bed on a deflated mattress. The DWP will be pressurising the workers on zero hours contracts, on minimum wage, on 16 hours to increase their hours. And if you can't, and you're claiming universal credit to top up your rent to, to live because your wages are not enough, they sanction you. The CEO earns eight thousand pounds an hour. Uh, you know, he doesn't work a thousand times harder than I am. You know, he works. He sits in a comfy air-conditioned office, and they can afford to pay him that much. They can afford to pay us enough to eat and have somewhere to live. There's 14 demonstrations going around the country today in support of what you're doing in Crayford and in Cambridge. So that's going to be the model for the future. More people are going to take inspiration from what you've done. We've already won concessions off the company. We had a, a serial sexual harasser is now under investigation and has been suspended. And the day we announced our intention to file the strike, uh, the company offer, the company announced that they would be ending, that they would be offering all 80,000 hourly paid zero hour contract employees a guaranteed minimum hour contract uh, just by 40 of us being balloted for strike. Today, we've already had workers ring the Bakers Union and saying we want to get involved. Hopefully this will spread the message even further and we'll get even more people, not just from McDonald's, but we want to KFC, uh, uh, Subway, uh, Pizza Hut, Burger King, all these places are all, they all, all these workers all face the same problems that we do. For the first time in our history, workers at McDonald's are standing up and striking back for 10 pounds an hour. Years in the making, now it's here for the taking, all the way for the USA to create Fred in Cambridge. Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Fast food workers run this town! Shut it down! Would you like fries with that and a zero hours contract? What did these strikers say to that? We are having none of that. My paycheck is looking flat. Add some zeros onto that. Hold your pickles and your fries and make my wages super size. Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down.